Welcome to Incident Management. In this video, we'll define what incident management is and discuss the state values and life cycles of incidents. What is incident management? Well, incident management is used to report and track service outages or interruptions. Well, that's things like my network is down, my laptop will not power up, my ASU application is running slow. So let's take a look at the different stages and states of the life cycle of an incident. The incident states drive the stage of the incident. The stage of the incident is depicted at the top of the incident form. In this particular example, the state of new has driven the stage called incident identification and categorization. In other words, this is a new incident that's just being defined and categorized. The incident states of active awaiting info and awaiting vendor drive the stage of investigation and diagnosis. And you'll see that here in this incident example where the state is active and the stage of the incident depicted across the top of the incident form is investigation and diagnosis. Resolved. Resolved is the goal. We want to resolve incidents in incident management. As an IT service team member taking an incident or working on an incident, I want to resolve the incident for the contact, for the customer, or the affected users. In this particular case, the state of resolved drives the stage of resolution and recovery. Incidents that are resolved four days or longer are automatically closed by the system. A closed incident is marked as read-only. So let's take a look at how this works. Let's create a new incident. And in this new incident, you'll notice that there are some required fields. And I can fill in uh, some of those required fields very quickly because the system gives me hints and drop-downs. In this case, a type ahead that shows me different types of categories and subcategories that are available. And I can say application functionality. Also, for example, in the short description, and you'll notice down at the bottom, work notes. And so you would want to uh, enter in very descriptive work notes here. So work notes for this incident. One more thing, in order for an incident to um, change states here, We'll go from new to active, we're going to fill in the assign to field. So in this case, I'm going to assign it to myself. Now when I save the incident, what you will notice is that the state value right now is new. That will change, and the stage of the incident will change from incident identification and categorization to incident and diagnosis. So let's see. Here I've saved the incident. It has been assigned to myself, and it is now active, and investigation and diagnosis is the stage. An active incident is one that's being worked by somebody. And if we scroll to the bottom of the form, work notes are stored in the um, journal field, and an SLA has been uh, kicked off to help us make sure that we're uh, responding or resolving this incident within a timely manner. So thank you for attending this video.